Let me show you how Memdev can make you into a faster, more fluent, more competent developer. Let's do an everyday situation as an example. Here I am at the root of a Git project and I'm looking for a specific commit. Okay, I'm gonna go with Git log. And I start scrolling through commits. The messages are long. I read and I read, I can't find what I need. Okay, there must be a way to search through commit messages. So off to Stack Overflow I go. And of course I find this, how to search a Git repository by commit message. Scroll down, oh, git log, dash all, dash grep, and whatever I want. Cool, let's try that out. So git log, dash all, dash grep, and the term I was looking for, PCB. And sure enough, I find what I need. Cool, so far so good. Been there, done that, every developer does this. But what most of us do, which is a mistake, is we move on. And then next time we need this obscure Git switch or this piece of JavaScript syntax or whatever, we have to Google it again. And I'm sure you have things you've looked up numerous times before. And these slowdowns slow us down as developers and they actually get in the way of our fluency and our thinking. Not to mention if it's a job interview, it's not a great look. So let's use Memdev. I go back to Stack Overflow and I can see every code snippet has the Memdev logo next to it. And that's because I can make it into an interactive snippet. I can save it to my own personal knowledge base. Let's hover over this one, which is the one that works for us and add it to our knowledge base. Now, I don't think this all switch is important. I can, for my use, I can experiment, but I don't think it's essential and also I didn't actually use the equals and the quotes. And I'm gonna put the word term instead. And I just learned how to search a Git repository. Great, I'm gonna remove the question mark. The topic is Git. And I also have the source link so I can always refer back to where this knowledge came from for added context. And I'm gonna create this snippet. Now this is just a snippet. What Mendev really does is it lets me practice on interactive flashcards. So let's go ahead and convert the snippet into something interactive. So git log, that's an important piece. Actually, let's go, let's highlight all of this, git log dash dash grep, but I also wanna be quizzed specifically on the grep switch. So now I made a nested placeholder here within Mendev. So I will be asked, to produce log dash dash grep and also to just type in grep. The rest of these look good, so let's save. And now I can train on this for the first time. So git log and let's say I make a small mistake. Oh no, it's actually dash dash grep, it's not dash term. So I'm gonna try again. Git log dash dash grep and that's correct. Okay, that was good. Now it asks me again for that one. And that was good as well. You see I'm asked to repeat this a number of times straight away. And that was good as well. And that's it for this training session. Tomorrow I'm gonna go in, train again, it will ask me the same question again. But then it won't show it for a week. In a week it'll ask me again, and then it's gonna ask me again in a month, and so on. It will space them out. And the more such cards I make, the more fluent I become and the more this knowledge moves from notes or stack overflow into my head as a developer, making me that much more fluent, faster, and more confident.